Hello everyone, um, now, today's video isn't going to be like every other video, um, this one is just a statement, really, um, now, if you're wondering what the fuck is going on, I just want to say I'm not going to take the provoking, I'm not going to take the bullshit, and absolutely not going to take the, um, false accusations that were, um, put on me. Now, I know I wasn't going to make any video whatsoever about what's been going on these past two weeks, but knowing that if I'm silent, people are going to continuously try to throw dirt on me and try to say that I'm sounding like different people. Um, now, first of all, I'm not like Red Fox 4756 whatsoever. I'm not a pedophile, nor am I sexually attracted to any kids. I know nobody said that, but... Um, for the record, because people did claim, or someone did claim that I did, you know, sound like him when I really don't. Um, <clears throat> I am me, and I don't want to be, you know, compared to worse people. Um, I'm not nowhere familiar or near high res or 10 8 i am not a pedophile i am not a weirdo and i don't fa and i don't falsely accuse 15 year old girls to flashing which is what i'm going to get into in this video if some certain person is watching this i dearly apologize if you are uh religious if you are sensitive to swearing and if you are sensitive to certain um topics such as pedophilia cp and other things like that then please um, I warn you, I'm not gonna tell you to click off this video because you got yourself into this mess, but really, I don't really tell anybody to click off the videos because, like, I need the views. No, I'm kidding. Um, now, blemishing off all of the jokes, um, the reasoning why I kind of left YouTube for, um, almost two weeks was because around almost two weeks ago or for the past two weeks there's been drama that i've been warped in situations that i've been warped in and a lot of crazy shit that i've been warped in which i don't want to be warped in at all i do not deserve it i am already going through as much as possible i have already gone through enough i sure everyone knows my fucking life stories so just because you did something bad and i wanted to put you down to the ground for that does not mean you need to do the same thing i don't get why people try to fight back when they have already lost the game because <clears throat> once you die and once you lose you fucking lose play another fucking game anyways now around in the ending of october um now, I don't condone drinking uh, at all. I am going sober after November, or during November 16th. After that, I will be going sober completely, or exactly on that day. I will not be smoking. I will not be drinking anymore. I know that it's not right for me to do that, but is it even worth telling me that? Is it even worth telling that to any teenager now? Every teenager, well not every teenager, but m mostly a lot of kids, which I don't condone or support at all. I do not influence anybody into doing drugs. I do not influence anybody doing marijuana. Um, <clears throat> now, there's been a lot of accusations kind of thrown on me. Um, there's been a lot of things that have been thrown on me for absolutely no reason. Now, if you attend to ruin my life, I just want to tell you that that's not going to work whatsoever. If you intend to doing anything that revolves with ruining my life for jealousy or the fact that you cannot fucking roast me, is immature and i'd suggest you stop because people have tried their absolute best and i'm still here people have tried their absolute breast breast best to try to provoke me or not provoke me but push me to sewer lied if you know what i'm talking about just remember i'm still here there's n you're not taking me off the face of this planet. It'll only be me. And if this preparatures any further, then I will have to set off and not be here until 
possibly either spring or my birthday because I'm not going to take the mental the in quote I'm not I'm just gonna say in quote because I know you guys are gonna be fucking pissed in quote mental abuse and I'm not gonna take the emotional abuse from people that I don't even know in real life I've had enough of it I already treat a lot of people like I know them in real life when in reality I don't and it sounds stupid and it's really dumb but I've been homeschooled for almost how all my life and I socialize better online than real life because um, people in real life tend to portray me way quicker than they tend to portray me on the internet which is really fucking weird so and plus who the fuck wants to trust somebody in real life anymore I know that I don't I know damn well I don't you know people getting kidnapped and stuff but that's besides what I'm gonna talk about <clears throat> And yes, I'm gonna sit here and waste your time. Because I'm sick of everybody's shit. I'm sick of everyone provoking me. I'm sick of everyone judging me by a fucking book cover. I literally don't even have a cover at this point. I'm sick of everyone getting in trouble, getting grounded, getting in fucking fuck shit just because of me. Being misunderstood. And it's just, it's the dumbest shit ever. <clears throat> Now, I deeply apologize if I'd caused you any trouble, but I don't apologize to Soltis, I do not apologize to Delta, I do not apologize to 108108, and I do not apologize to High res whatsoever. Because the ending of October, I a little situation had happened in my server that I flashed my breast on a voice call now before you have a panic attack no i did not do that i am 15 years old in a healthy committed relationship that i would never fucking destroy there's no reason for me to destroy the relationship and a lot of people then also pick on me for this relationship not people but i notice only a few people who are the people that i'm talking about in this video do pick pick and pull because apparently my relationship's a hellfire which my relationship's none of your fucking business at all i'm it's perfectly fine it's a healthy relationship i've been never been more happier so it, you know soltis or stolis not even your actual name impersonating a fucking character from hellville hotel or whatever the fuck if, you know, because he had said something about that, which I kind of found really dumb, because S Stolis, in the expand of how long I've been with my boyfriend, this guy's been probably with over 20 people. So is Delta. And Delta was 17 and dated a 13-year-old. So I would not be ever, 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 ever talk bad on me, Delta. <clears throat> Now, back to what I was saying, um, now, Delta, or not Delta, we're gonna go back to the 10-8 situation now, 10-8 went away, had falsely accused me of flashing in ABC when I was drunk that night. You may be wondering, why are you getting drunk? That's the dumbest shit ever. Because one, I could do what I want with my life, two, you only live once. Three, I'm doing it for the experience. I did it because I wanted to experience it before I go completely sober. Because I don't do things like that very often. If so, mostly few times a month. But this night, honestly, was probably the last time I would ever get drunk. Because I was going to on Halloween. But I, you know, figured out that shit was fucking dumb. So that kind of didn't, you know, happen. So, but, um, <clears throat> now, basically, um, Tene had accused me of flashing, along with high res too, which, don't know what the obsession is. Now, sometimes I pull up my stomach to show my literal stomach, but not my boob, and don't say, you probably did it accidentally. I did not. Now, one night, um... It was the 25th of October. Me and High Res and Tene were in a call, and I pulled up my shirt to my belly button. And it was accidental because I was itching my stomach. And 
I looked down and saw my stomach was just there. Didn't look like my boobs. They weren't out. So, they that that's just disgusting to ever even accuse me of. That's disgusting. I don't send. I, I'm not anything like that anymore. I fucked up when I was 12. That was three years ago. Get the fuck over it. I was blackmailed earlier this year. Get the fuck over it. I am not that person anymore. Now, after a while, a few hours pass, I don't remember too much of the... I don't remember too much of the night I got drunk, but let's just say that'll be the last time. And if I'm ever getting drunk, I'm not getting drunk with anybody in a fucking Discord call. Because, dude, accusing me of doing that, and also, by the way, before you say, oh, you, you know, you just don't know, there's other people with me, um, such as Liam, uh forgot there's fewer other people there and they also had said in address that i wouldn't do that which i know and there's this dude here there with me the entire time named liam and i remember seeing him and he was like yeah you didn't do that and i'm like yeah because why would i do that i have self-control because of my trauma so if i was drunk i wouldn't be doing anything sexual and i also have a boyfriend i wouldn't do that Hi Res then started say, talking to staff behind my back about it and keeping secrets, which I don't condone in my Discord server. You're going to forwardly, t you, as a staff member, you're going to forwardly tell me what the on uh, not staff person had claimed. Hi Res said, yeah, you did it. Admit it. No, I did not. Um, now... He, Hyrus told Delta behind my back and I had pressured Delta into telling me because I'm not going to have any false if, if false accusations thrown on my name. So I had asked Delta and Delta had openly said they're saying you flashed. I would not do that. Now, in that, that same night, 10-8 texted me, Stop moaning. You're making n-words hard. I said that's not me. That's a different person because certain people will go in there and moan and I tell them to stop politely But obviously I get talked over and people like to have fun and if I destroy the fun I'm immediately the bad guy So I kind of sit there and I disinvolve myself because I don't condone that behavior anymore I don't care if it happens. Just don't overly do it and if it gets weird, and if there's a child in there that's still in middle school, that's a fucking problem. Yeah, that's a fucking problem. A 13-year-old sitting in there, moaning and talking about how he wants the, the D word in his butt. <clears throat> You're... <clears throat> When you're in middle school, you're supposed to be focusing on school and being a child, not getting D in your booty hole. Consistently, Stolis did this for a while, but back to the high res situation now. When this happened, I was furious and pissed, which is why I started yelling the last time I went live and ended the live. I was not going to put this on the net, but I'm going to because people are going to try to provoke me. I didn't do anything wrong and I put that on my life. I put that on everything that I have that I didn't do anything wrong. I'm trying to make things normal. I'm trying to make things better. But how am I going to make that better if continuously people continuously say these fucking vulgar things like i said don't care if it's vulgar don't care if it's a tiny bit sexual but if it's go if it goes overboard yeah that's enough consistently after um the whole ten the whole uh accusation kind of happened and whatnot i yelled and i screamed and i was told that i was overreacting why 108 is a 21 year old who had an attraction to me, but I didn't realize it until that day. Which was dumb of me, but I tend to ignore people because I fucking hate them. 
Tenet thought that we were like homies and he had kind of found him funny at first, but started getting really weird when he told me to show me or show him my teeth and all this other stupid shit and it was just really fucking dumb. Um It, and then just calling me a cute bunny girl was weird in like all this other crazy shit which I find purely disgusting I don't like I just was like that's fucking weird now let's fast forward to um a few hours pass or a few days pass overly now Delta and Stolis continuously say some weird, wacky stuff. I already mentioned it. Also, to backtrack, I'm gonna backtrack for a second. Um, Tene is a pedophile, and I'm not provoking him. Like, I'm not saying fa I'm not falsely accusing him of being a pedophile. Like, he quite literally is. Before me and Stolis got into this big argument, um, he had claimed he he claimed I didn't directly saw it but i also saw it in the same time in my server i pretend to be active but in reality i'm not really active because i choose to stay away from there when i continuously see um some weirdo sexualizing planes i didn't mind it at first because it's her attraction it's because i have to fake being a nice person to not get in trouble i mean delta was my friend i didn't fucking care she's in her own fucking world but continuously sexualizing things it's really really weird really really weird like to an extent and then saying tender bone cock when the guy isn't even your actual boyfriend and that he has a girlfriend in real life but you claim that you guys are actually dating <sighs> And then continuously announcing to everyone you're getting railed. No, you're just having phone. You're having the f the nasty on phone. The nasty phone edition. Let's say that. Now it it's also really disgusting how continuously you're threatening to get Emirates to impregnate me when I have a boyfriend I'm 15 and three I'm uncomfortable with the fact that you're continuously threatening to breed me when this year a few months back and I know it isn't that deep but if you guys remember Flowly Flowly had a breeding kink breeding kinks make me uncomfortable like I said, but I don't say anything because I hate telling people the truth. The only person I've specifically told the truth is is pro probably only my boyfriend and two different people. It's weird being, you know, just pretending to be okay until you're like on the verge of fucking screaming. And it's people online. It's not that deep. But because I have a YouTube that I'm getting back into. I have a boy, like I got things that I do need to worry about now like I'm not gonna be like I'm gonna kill myself and I'm not gonna care about anything like I did last year because that shit was low as fuck but I was going through a very low time like deeper than this shit which is also why I'm making this video because I'm not gonna put myself into that hole again I know November is a shitty month right now and I know everyone's going through a shitty time but please do not blame me and take it out on me because I didn't do anything. Yeah, Stolis, you got mommy issues and your mom didn't invite you to her wedding. Yeah, my mom didn't invite me to her wedding either. My mom doesn't give two craps about me. You probably see and talk to your mom more than I talk to my mom and I'm not trying to be that person. But still, you don't have it as you don't have it harder than anybody else. When I was 13, I lived in my uncle's basement. Not literally. I'm not like I'm being. I'm not even trying to be ironic. But I literally, me and my family lived in a house full of rats, and my sister continuously emotionally abused me. And continuously, I went through hell. I kept getting my stuff stolen. I was in a toxic relationship. I wanted to D.I.E. I was severely suicidal. And it <laughs> you do not have it harder than everybody else. So you can, can you can stop that act. You can. And you, Delta. I went through practically the same scenarios you did and I got help. You can too. 
You don't need to sexualize plaints 24-7. Okay? That's weird. And then, saying that I'm the bad guy for getting mad at a 13-year-old over-sexualizing himself. You're 13. You are a child. You are in 7th grade. 8th, probably, if you're more dumb enough to get pulled back. And then, continuously attacking me and thinking that me, and almost in 4 months, a 16 or almost a 15-year-old, is going to fight with a child. You're funny if you think me, about to be 16 in February, is going to argue with a little kid. You're funny. You're in 8th grade, and I'm a sophomore in high school. I'm, pre I'm in pre-GED right now, and about to be in pre-PSAT. And you think I'm- and I- I'm, I'm about to literally, like, dude, I'm like trying- like, I'm getting- I'm trying to get my life together without my dad bypassing it, cause he's gonna try to stick me to live with him longer. You're funny. If you think I'm gonna argue with you. With you, with your mommy and daddy issues. I may have divorced parents, but at least I don't have mommy issues, and I'm sorry that you do, but you don't have to continuously pre- pre-parture it on the internet. You do not have to. There are diaries. There are so many other things you can do. Which is why I blocked you. And your weird boyfriend. And then... We have... Delta saying that I sound like Red Fox for saying that she was literally mentally ill. You... There's something obviously messed up in your head in your head if you think consistently talking about sexual things and impregnating people that it's obviously uncomfortable with is normal literally all she talked about was emirates and arc and it was literally like, it like there's more things that you can talk about like if being overly sexual helps you please actually get help keep the ones around you from hating you and keep the ones around you from whatever who fucking knows because when i was overly sexual like that i got hit in the fucking head i got hit hard man that shit fucking sucked which is why i'm taking a stop to it and i don't know what happened one day i just woke up and thought let's talk about doggy dick no let's not talk about doggy dick <laughs> i'm sorry that was not funny but you get the jester. Like, one day I just woke up and thought sex jokes weren't funny anymore. Like, they're kind of funny, but when they're overused, they're not funny. Like, <laughs> I get it if you're doing that with your close friends, but, like, people you don't know, go. <laughs> Literally. I Yeah, I did it not even weeks ago, but like I said, one day I just woke up and said, Fuck it, I'ma actually be semi-normal. Even though I probably never will be, and that's not gonna revert the fucking mis big mistake I made in May. It's still improvement. <sighs> I don't know what else to, s to say. This is just my statement. I may- I'll still be active on YouTube, I'm just not gonna make videos. If anything, I will go live next weekend. Um... But like I said, I just don't know what else to say. It's just I politely ask of you not to over-sexualize me. And I'm not asking for it. One. And two, I just find it really weird. So... But your life doesn't revolve around the internet. Your life doesn't revolve a stupid phone. A stupid phone that's not going to be with you in like two years. You're going to have a new one. Or you're going to focus on your fucking life. But this little thing doesn't revolve around your life. It doesn't control your life. It really doesn't. But if... I may take a few week break, if anything, if this prepartures by December or the ending of November, 
you probably will not hear of me until spring. But I'm not sure yet. That's something I haven't even f configured. But since the summer, I noticed that a lot of my fall, late falls, and winters fucking sucked because of the internet. And I never completely focused on myself. And, like I said, of the situation, or if any of this drama, because I'm starting to get really fucking sick of drama, and I'm starting to get really sick of just being randomly dropped for no reason. It, it's just dumb. Um, but, I don't know what else to say. Um, but just stop being fucking weird, please. Like, you're not justifying anything and making hate group chats about me is the dumbest shit ever. And then saying, I'm gonna kill myself so you get in trouble is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. No, th you see, it it's it's the dumbest shit ever. I, I don't even know what else to say anymore. I That's just my complete statement because I'm sick and tired of being stopped on because everyone knows that I'm right. Being, like, just being that person isn't right at all. And I hope people change. But like I said, the a millionth time, I don't know what to say. But, this will be my last video for a few weeks. Um, this statement will be deleted because people just want to ruin my life, which will not happen. I will still fucking be here. You could try to end me. You could try to fucking cancel me all you fucking want. I will still be here. You guys have tried so many times. I will still be here. Because you guys are so mad about how gray my life is and my relationships are. At least I'm not 17 dating a fucking 13 year old. At least I actually stick to people my age. But I'll mind my business for now. And the block button will be something that I will be more frequently using. No matter how, no matter how many people I lose, I don't care. Because being selfless and selfish in the same time is just annoying. Like, I don't want to be selfish, but being selfless fucking sucks. So, but that's all I have to say. There's my statement.